What's up kings and queens in the building? So I'm back with another video and in this video I'm going to be doing a QA and a and I'm also going to be shouting out the winner to the giveaway. Yay! So unfortunately um, there can only be one winner. Shout out to everybody that entered. There will be plenty more giveaways in the future so don't be sad if you didn't win. FYI, um, I went through everybody's page. I made all of my family members choose one person that they think should win and I saw out of all of us we chose 10 people and then we cut it down to person that I thought should win this uh, giveaway so um I'm about to announce the winner Drum roll, y'all so the winner is La Goddess underscore Coco honey yay shout out to everybody that entered I love y'all I love my fans I love my supporters y'all loyal stay loyal Shout out to, to my day ones that have been following me from day one that watch all my videos. Shout out to you, shout out to everybody, shout out to your mama, shout out to every damn buddy. Yeah, hey. But I did my shoot the deputy. Woo woo woo. I shot the shit. Comment below and let me know what videos you want to see next. Like I need ideas, y'all. Y'all y'all ain't giving me ideas. Like, come on, I need ideas. I need ideas. For the most part, I answered all of you guys' questions in the QA. So, we're gonna watch that in a second. So, let's get to it. Right now, I'm filming in my like alleyway in my backyard. All right, oh yeah, and I'm representing. I'm wearing raptors. Yeah. Shut up! <laughs> you gotta stop. Like, I'm serious. I'm annoying ass sister. Like the the That's not gonna be in the video. Please, just let it <laughs> okay, just hush. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> I hope that beat don't come back though, cause I'm about to dip. But this person asked me, um, did you twist them for them to look wavy like that? For those that have been following me on YouTube for a long time, if you check out my old videos, I did like at least three different videos where um, I washed my hair and I braided it. That's how I get waves like this. Like it just, and the waves stay in for a long time until I wash it. So I will put the link right here for those that want to see how I got this wavy look with my locks but this is how i got this is how i got wavy okay somebody asked uh tada dot nina asks can you do bad two knots bad two knots are your locks too long my hair is not too long my hair is never too long i do whatever i want um but when i do it it's extra extra thick i will put like a picture right here showing you guys how it looks when i do bad two knots but when i do it it's like extra extra thick like they come out it's like it turns into like a mini afro somebody asks are are they heavy and hard to wash Again, I have a video showing you guys when I wash my hair. Yes, it's really hard to wash and it's heavy as hell. Heavy as fuck. And it's annoying and I hate washing my hair, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, yeah, it's really, really heavy and it's really hard to wash. Because I'm, I'm, like, I'm really petite, so like when I wash it, it weighs down my whole body. And it's like, I be like this. My neck be hurting, be getting back cramps, all that stuff. So yeah, it's really hard to wash. Um, this guy asks, Asian Prince Nelly asks, would you be mad if I saw you in person and ask you to, would you be mad if I saw you in person and ask you, can I touch your hair? Can I take a picture with you? No, I wouldn't be mad. Like, if you're a fan, if you see me on the street, I'd rather you say hi to me than just stare at me and just look. Like, I'm, I'm a friendly person, so you can come up to me and say hi, take a picture with me. Like, I had a few people, a few girls that came up to me before and wanted to take a selfie with me. Like, I'm cool with that. I'm a really nice person. And I'd rather you ask to touch my hair than just touch it without permission because people do that all the time. So, yeah. Of course, you can come up to me and take a picture. I'm really, really nice. I ain't got no problem with that. All right, the next question. How do you keep your roots healthy when your locks get so long and heavy? And show us some good hairstyles for you, for guys. Because he doesn't know how to wear his hair anymore. Um, Eventually, I'll do some hairstyles for men. So that for I'm going to do unisex hairstyles eventually for men and women. Eventually, um... Honestly, how do I keep my roots healthy because my locks are long? My hair has just always been healthy. I don't really do anything special like I've been telling you guys. I, the same products that you see, the products that you see in my videos is the products I've been using from time. Nothing special. I just, I just naturally, I just have naturally healthy roots and healthy hair. I can't really, don't really do nothing special to make it healthier because it's always been healthy since I've been young. So it's like yeah how did i deal with the locking phase well first of all i was 10 years old when i started my locks i didn't give a shit i wasn't at the point i was not the age where i cared about how i looked or anything like that like i was young i was only 10 i didn't really care 
So, how often do you retwist your how often do you retwist your hair? When the only time I retwist the whole thing is when I wash it. Um, but like if I'm having a bad, bad hair day and my my new growth is bad, then if I want to go out, I just do like a quick retwist, like a five minute retwist to freshen it up a little bit to make it look like I did get my hair done. What inspired me to start? Um, when I like um, when I was ten years old, um, I was very inspired by. I seen so many people with locks, and I was obsessed with it. And my mom's friend had locks as well. She had locks, so I seen locks everywhere I went, and I just started to like fall in love and become obsessed with locks. So then I eventually asked my mom to get locks, and then here I am today. What oils do you use to nourish your hair? I use coconut oil, um, oil sheen, shea butter. That's about it. Um, how long was your hair when you started your locks? My hair was up to like here. I had a pretty, I had pretty long hair, and then my hair. FYI, my hair always been thick. Like it's been thick since I was young. That's why my locks are really, really thick. Like my I always had thick, thick, thick ass hair from young till now. Um, would you ever dye your locks? If so, what color? Like that, I went through so many phases where I wanted to like a change and I wanted to dye my hair like so many times. If I was to dye, it would be like a honey, like a honey brown, like a natural brown color, like a real natural brown color. But I don't think I ever will because I'm scared and I don't want to dye. But if I was to dye, I would never dye my roots because my roots are really strong and I don't want to mess that up. So if I was to dye my hair, I would dye like only the locks, not the roots. How many locks do I have? Um, I have a video already. See, a lot of y'all, some of y'all don't be watching my YouTube videos. I have a video already of me counting my locks, so check that out. If you ain't see it, go watch it. I ain't gonna tell you right now how much locks I have. Go watch the video. Go watch the fucking video. Have any of your locks ever fallen out? Locks just don't naturally fall out. They might just start thinning and then I take it off and put it back on again. I have a video showing you guys already how I do that, so check that out as well. My locks never just like automatically just fall off. Either they start thinning out and that's about it. But that barely happens to me because my hair is really, really thick. What to do with my hair when I go to bed? He's asking me what to do with his hair before he goes to bed. Well, what I do is I put half up in a bun and I wear the rest down and I wear a headband or whatever. How were my locks started? My locks were started with two strand twists. Do you keep your locks from hurting your neck and do you do neck exercises or do you wear your hair in certain styles to help with the weight? Um, <clears throat> my neck never really hurts. The only time my neck ever hurts is when like if I was to wear my hair all in one in like a heavy bun for a certain amount of hours. I don't really have neck problems, I never did, because my hair is not heavy, the only time it's heavy is when I wash my hair. So I never I never have neck problems, but um, there, there are certain hairstyles that you can wear to prevent your neck from hurting for those that do have heavy locks. Um, I would say wear half up, half down maybe. Um, there's certain hairstyles that you can wear to prevent that, but I don't really have that problem, so. Does your locks feel heavy? No, my locks aren't heavy. I get asked this question so many times. My locks aren't heavy. The only time they're heavy is when they're wet. I know that I know they look hella heavy on my small little neck. And I'm skinny, I'm petite. So people be like, oh, it looks your hair looks so heavy. Especially when I wear my mohawk, everybody's like, oh my god, is your hair heavy? No, it's not heavy. My hair ain't heavy, okay? My hair is not heavy. Um, he asked me, would I love my locks just as much if they weren't twisted as in if I never had locks uh, of course like if I if I never had locks to begin with now I will be rocking my natural hair I will be rocking a big ass curly afro like I love curly hair that's why my hair is like always like half curly or wavy or whatever because I love curly hair what did you use over the years to keep your hair strong and healthy and what oils did you use um like I said I use coconut oil um like honestly my hair is just it's just strong I can't really I don't really do anything to make my hair strong and healthy. It's just naturally strong and healthy. Some people have different... Everybody has different hair types. I mean, um, my hair type's different. Your friend's hair type's different. Everybody has different hair types. So it's like, it all depends on what type of hair you have. I have strong, soft, healthy hair. It's always been like that from day one. And I hope it stays that way for the rest of my life. I don't use any products really that make it strong or healthy. Or maybe, maybe I have... Maybe... Yeah, that's a bug attacking me what do you do with your locks when you exercise when i exercise i put it up in a bun half up and half down i never put my hair all in one because that will give me a hell of that'll give me a crazy headache so i wear half up half down 
Is it offensive to call locks dreadlocks? Yes, it is because first of all, ain't nothing dreadful about my hair. So I prefer people to call my hair to be called locks or whatever. This anything but dreadlocks. Like I don't use that term anymore. I don't have locks for fashion. It's more than that. So I would appreciate it for people to call my hair locks. Like locks. Take out the dread. Let's keep the locks. L O X S L O C S. Whatever. Like I prefer my hair to be called locks. And I actually like stopped saying drill. I used to say dreadlocks all the time, like back in the day before I got into this whole spiritual thing. But now I just call it locks, like strictly locks. You never ever catch me calling my hair dreads, ever. Never, ever, ever. What up, A Slim? <laughs> She's like, can you bring your locks to home, or please and thank you. Um, yeah, I will be coming to Louisiana again to visit my friends because I miss you guys eventually. I went two years ago, so I will be going again. What type of hair do you have? I noticed that you guys have like a chart of like different hair types. I don't know what hair type I have. All I know is that my hair is like, I have really, really soft. My hair is really, really soft and thick. I don't know what kind of hair type that is, but when I find out, I'll let you guys know. Um, for people with soft hair, how often would you say retwist your locks? Um, I don't know. I would say like it, if your hair is extremely, extremely soft, I would just say... Honestly, I don't think it's good to retwist your hair too often. Like, you need to give your your roots a, your roots a chance to breathe once in a while. Cause like, I feel like if you retwist too too much, like all the time, like eventually your roots will start thinning out. But I would say like take a break. Um, it doesn't matter if your hair is soft or not. I would just say just retwist whenever you feel the time is right. Like whatever your mind's telling you to do, if you feel like you need to retwist it, retwist it. But it's always good to give your locks a breather and a break once in a while.